Good evening, everyone. Happy new release night. And we've got some more Diamond Kings coming at you. That's the brand new release. 2019 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball 12 box inner case picker team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting into it. There it is. There we go. Brian O with that double last spot mojo. Marlins and Mets. And there's everybody else right there. Thank you. And there's where I marked pick your team two. boxes right there that makes 12 good luck everybody Brian Brandon looking for some uh, Dodger Joe Mojo good luck everybody watching a uh, Yankees Astros Right now, after uh, Yankees and Astros are kind of keeping it keeping it tight, but then the the Astros jumped out to a six two lead in the bottom of the fifth. They're still hitting. I had financial interest in the Yankees. I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting that. Um, I've got I had the I had financial interest in the Twins. They were chugging along nicely with a one nothing lead, but then in the bottom of the fifth, Mets put up a crooked number on them. Six went put up six runs in the bottom of the fifth, and adding two more in the bottom of the seventh. It's eight one. I had financial interest in the in the twins. Looks like that's not gonna happen tonight. I had fin financial interest in the uh, Nationals. They're up nine nothing on the Phillies, so I guess I'm, I might be okay there. My Dodgers are down by one after a Jock Peterson home run. There you go. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. It's Max Scherzer. There's Robin Yount. Nice. Two-color jersey and autograph. That goes to Thomas Bove and the Brew Crew. Nice. He's got a nice autograph, Robin Yount. Mike Trout. So as you know by now, in the item description, the uh, vet base won't ship, but all the cards that are 101 and up will ship, or 101 and 150, I think. Those are the, the uh, base short print. So whether it's a veteran or not, those will still ship. And there's Steven Duger. Two-color dual relic for the Giants. A little Oppo Joe Mojo for Robert and the Gigantes. George Brett frame. There's Satchel Page. So even though that's number 21, this will ship. It's some sort of photo uh, variation here, so image variation.
and that's going to ship anyway. That's 132. All right, so that's box one in the books. Yeah, it looks like the Dodgers did use up all of their uh, all of their their runs early in the season. Uh, Brad Bradford Doolittle, ESPN staff writer, about half an hour ago, mentioned that the Dodgers came into the St. Louis series averaging how many runs and how many homers had they hit? Well, after LA scored two runs in the first inning of the series, the Cardinals have since held the Dodgers to one run over 21 innings, and LA has not gone deep yet against the Cardinals after homering in each of its first 10 games. Come on, Dodgers. So scored another run. They're up 7-2 now. All right. Next box. These artist proofs will ship, of course. Alex Bregman and Alex Bregman. Card set aside to have sleeved up. And actually, put it back in the main rotation. And we'll have to do the. We'll have to do front back randomizers for that. I didn't realize there were different things. Players on the back. And there's Robinson Cano, still Mariners edition here. Two color, dual relic. For Corey Riley and the M's. And the autograph is 14 out of 25 for the Blue Jays. Sean Reed Foley. And that's going to go to Jim Gray and the Blue Jays. There you go, Jim. It's Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw should be back in action soon. Got a nice rehab start for uh, the Tulsa Drillers the other night. And apparently, he's feeling okay after, post that start. So I think the next next stop 
Back to the big leagues. So he should make his season debut Sunday or Monday, I think. Sunday? Sunday? Yeah, that is. Oh, man. The X line saying go Redbirds. That's probably not good. Oh, a, a, a De Young triple scoring Goldschmidt. Cardinals up 3 1. Yeah, Dodgers bat of, bats have gotten cold. Mike's, I, I blame Coors Field, X line. I blame the altitude. Blame the altitude out there. Can it can exa can uh, exhaust you? It's Frank Thomas. Yeah, De Young is a stud. That we that we know. So that's those are both Astros, right? Yeah. Yeah, he is he is he is a player. He is a good player. Well, I didn't realize that Kershaw trains with a personal or uh, travels with a personal trainer. We got Kevin Kramer. That camo dual relic for the Pirates goes to Michael Gallucci. Oh man, I wish I had Paul DeYoung available in my league. I got Harrison Bader on my fantasy team. I like Harrison Bader too. And we've got Diamond Deco to 25, Reggie Jackson. Five out of 25, that is nice. That is the, uh, that's the straw that serves the drink. That is for Jeremy Merle and the Yankees. 5-1 Cardinals, no. what's going on here? A Molina Homer. Oh, there you go. Looks like it's going to be a sad day for Joe. All right, next box. My picks aren't working out. Dodgers are losing. Although I do, I do think that Josh, that the Cardinals are probably going to win this division. I think they can win the division. It'll be it'll be down to you guys, and the uh, and the Brewers. I don't think the Cubs quite have have it together yet. Their their starting pitching is betraying them. Cubs starting pitching. But uh, the the Cardinals have quietly put uh, have quietly have a really good team there. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. I you know I like starters. You know, Mikolas is good. Jack Flaherty, Dakota Hudson, Michael Walker. Got some young guys there. 
I don't know, maybe make a play. And there's still Wayno in the back of the ro that rotation. I guess front of that rotation, however you want to put it. All right, Andrew Miller's not bad. I like Alex Reyes when healthy. Goldsmith pick. I mean, getting Goldsmith was huge. There's Starling Marte, one out of twenty-five. Pirates are actually not that bad either. Pirates could su surprise some people. There you go. That goes to um, who has the Pirates? Michael Gluchy, Seal Curtain, with his Pirates. You think you should swoop Casey Mize in your dynasty league? Lou's asking. Do it's Casey M depends on whether he was. Uh, yes. When where was, was he drafted out of high school or college? I forget. If he's drafted out of high school, obviously you're gonna have to wait a little bit. But I think the the Tigers are gonna give him every chance to succeed, right? So he'll get called up. So whenever he gets called up, he's going to make starts. They're going to have him. They're going to run him out there. College? Oh, then de definitely. In a dynasty league, sure. It's Bryce Harper. Right, right, right. He was an Auburn guy, huh? Yeah, I would. I mean. He might even get a cup of coffee at the end of this year, depending on how his, his season goes, but. But I mean, he's allegedly the real deal. Wow, nice one of one. Right there, that's Corbin Burns. What a patch. That goes to Thomas Bove and the Brew Crew. Nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. All right, next one. What does Mize already have a 15 and 0 walk strikeout to walk ratio in just 11 innings? Yeah, you got to you got to pick him up. Stash him in your dynasty league. I'll, I'll bet he'll be up in a year or two. And the Tigers are rebuilding, so he's going to be like the front of the rotation guy from the get-go. Right? They might, they may cap his innings, but, you know, he'll get like 25, 30 starts a year. That's what, it's good enough for fantasy in all formats. Yeah, this is figure team two. Yeah, excellent. Helping wife with the, with math. But uh, yeah, they yeah they definitely have some great young arms. You know, and if. If they need to, they could. They could. They've got some young talent too. They, like my farms, they got a good farm system. So if they have to, you know, they can make a. They can make a deal at the trading deadline, and then boom, boom. That could be it. It could be another classic Dodgers Cardinals playoff matchup. I was relating earlier X line about how Joe Kelly had uh is just have has not been good this season. That was like the Dodgers big like whoa. Look at that. Four out of five Pedro Martinez autograph. Huh look at that. That was unexpected.
That's weird. It does. It doesn't even say. We've got a little stamp right here too. But it doesn't even say this autograph is guaranteed by blah 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 blah. So threw th that threw me off. But that's awesome. Oh, nice. It's um. From old 2003 Diamond Kings. Looks like a recollection collection kind of deal here. That makes sense. It's kind of hard to see. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, recollection collection confirms Rich. There you go. Nice. Red Sox. Jim Gray. Nice, Jim Gray. Out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. What a hit. Man, a lot, lot of fun stuff popping out of this uh, Diamond Kings. I know it's kind of a longer break, but there's enough surprises where you're just like, holy crap, that was awesome. And then we got Christian Stewart out of 99. Another one of the young Tigers up-and-comers. That goes to Chad B. There you go, Chad. There's Hideki Matsui. All right, next box. Nice. Oh! Look what, look what Jason Jaspi just pulled. That's why they always sell for like 40 bucks. One of one Tom Brady from freaking 2016? 2015 Donner Signature <laughs> Series? Oh, that thing was just sitting there since 2015? Man. Uh, Ryan's schedule is in the chat, so you can so you know how long we'll have. We'll have about another 35, 40 minutes or so. But yeah, as a cardinal, X line the joke. As a cardinal, sorry, we got interrupted by that Pedro Martinez. As a cardinal, I remember he plunked Hanley Ramirez when Hanran was on the Dodgers, which kind of derailed the whole Dodgers series, among other things. But. And so, so I always hated Joe Kelly because of that. Then Joe Kelly reappears on the Red Sox, and then helps helps the Red Sox beat my Dodgers in the World Series last year. All right, okay, freaking Joe Kelly, hate him even more, right? You know, but uh, you know he's he's a he's a, he's a great relief pitcher. He's got good stuff. And the Dodgers are like, all right, well, you, you know, if you can't beat him, join him, right? So. Dodgers signed signed Joe Kelly. They didn't. The Dodgers really didn't spend a lot of money in the offseason. AJ Pollock was one of the big signings. And then it was Joe Kelly, basically. That's it. 
Joe Kelly is, has, is probably responsible for at least two-thirds of the Dodgers' losses so far this season, directly related to him. So it's just like, freaking Joe Kelly. There's Trevor Story, jersey and autograph. Out of 25. Nice one for the Rocks. It's for Kevin Smith. Oh, yeah, I need to go back to the game cast for this game. We don't have the Dodgers network on, on, this, on this cable package. All right, that's a home run for uh, Max Muncy. Dodgers cutting the lead. Cardinals are down up 5-2 now. And Ozuna didn't... Did you see the Dodgers bullpen just laughing at, at Ozuna? I feel like Ozuna didn't hasn't has yet to really turn it on since he's been with the Cardinals. And once that guy gets on too, Cardinals Cardinals are dangerous. And that's Yogi Berra. Fifteen out of twenty on that one. Game used material. Wow. That's a cool one for Jeremy Merle and the Yankees. Oh, wait, can. They have teams on there now. But still no logos, huh? But they've got names? I feel like that's new, right? All right, next box. There he goes. We're, we're about halfway through the break right now. Wait, if Joe Kelly makes an appearance, Josh Axline and other Cardinals fans, does he get the does he get that standing ovation that David Freeze got? Probably not, right? Yeah, Eric Bailey, Pini can't use MLB logos on top to own the license. That I know, but I thought that they weren't able to use the team names either. Yeah, Joe Kelly does not get standing ovation. David Freeze definitely does. But I thought that also extended to team names, Eric Bailey. But I feel like I'm noticing team names on here now. No, Freeze gets lifetime standing O. Right, of course he does. He has to. I like David Freeze. He's been, been a solid presence for the young Dodgers team. There's Bryce Wilson. 41 out of 99 for the Braves. That is for Shane Thompson and the Bravos.
There's Chris Davis frame. I, haven't, I wonder if any of those frames are numbered this year. I haven't seen any of those numbered frames yet. Randy Johnson was on the Expos. And the Diamond Deco is Noah Syndergaard. Nice. I don't think that's numbered. That's a cool one for the Mets. Brian O on the board. <laughs> Drift. Well, hey, man, scared money don't make money. That's what they say. All right, next box. Fortune favors the bold. So we've got some score updates here. Nationals are up 14-0 on the Phillies. Oh, the Twins. I have financial interest in the Twins. They're battling back. They were down 9-1. Now they're only down 9-5. The Twins can still pull it off. I have financial interest in the Yankees. I don't think that's going to happen today. Astros are up 7-2. In the seventh inning. So the Yankees hitters starting to press a little bit. The Astros are trying to feel comfortable. Oh, there's Josh James. Didn't we pull a Josh James autograph earlier? Josh James warming up in the bullpen for the Astros. Pretty sure we did. There's Kikuchi. I think he's is he starting tonight? Are they comparing Forrest Whitley to Nolan Ryan? And there's Bat Kings, Chris Bryant for the Cubbies. That's going to go to Jeff, Jeff Truesdale with the Cubs. Does not look like no number on it. There it is. Oh, bloop single for the Yankees. Maybe that'll turn, spark something. Oh, hi, Alexa, Dad. Oh, no, she's just doing updates. And, hey, there he is, Josh James, 11 out of 25. I saw him warming up on the TV right over there. 
The Astros bullpen. Is he any good? There you go. James S. with the Strohs. I guess what we're going to find out in a moment if he gets into the game. There you go. And we've, we've been pulling some Dennis Santana stuff out of here. He's in the game now for the Dodgers. Dennis Santana could be stretched out to a, to a starter someday, I think. He did make a spot start for the Dodgers last year before he went down with an injury. And I kind of shut him down for the rest of the season. But I think he's, he's healthy now, ready to go. A lot of, uh, he's got electric stuff. A lot, of, a lot of strikeouts. Let's see what he does against uh, Martinez here. Jose Martinez grounds out. All right, good job, Dennis Martinez. Santana, that is. TJ needs some O's here. Carpenter up to bat. Wait, who who's who was making the salsa that uh, that Matt Carpenter was eating last year, and then he started to hit. Nice for the Royals. Two color, dual relic. Ryan O'Hearn. Royals. That'll be for Nikki Probert. Is it Wainwright's salsa that he was making for like fresh from his garden? There's Glaber Torres. And there's Michael Brantley. What a pickup by the uh, Astros. That's, this is a Cleveland edition. That's for Jim Gray. Astros have him now. He was an MVP candidate not too long ago. Until, like, shoulder injuries started breaking him down. But if he can be healthy... Insane addition to the Strohs. Welcome back to the MLB Network Showcase presented by Chevrolet. John Smoltz, Tom Is that Josh James? Houston, where the Astros lead the Yankees 7-2. Oh, no, the Yankees are pitching now. Brandon C. needs some Dodger Joe Mojo. All right, three boxes to go. Is, is Michael Brantley blocking Kyle Tucker? Probably is, right? I figure, I mean, do, do, are we really counting on Michael Brantley to be healthy for 162 games? Probably not. I think that Reddit contract is going to be up soon. They'll, they'll find they'll find space for Kyle Tucker. I 
I mean, Eric Bailey's right though. If if Brantley stays healthy, if he could play 162, like at a at a hundred percent, you know what I mean? Like, remember he he almost won. He was like what second or third place in MVP voting like three four years ago. It wasn't that long ago. Okay, three boxes to go. There's Jonathan Davis for the Blue Jays. 84 out of 99. Jim Gray. There we go. I look tired tonight? Oh, that's translation. I look like crap. Rick Barker. Are you a, are you a married man, Rick Barker? You ever tell your wife she looks tired? What's their reaction usually? You see, never goes well. So, and yes, there's a monster train whistle right there. Now I'm just, I'm just in that I'm just in that Diamond King zone. This break's already long enough. Got to concentrate on breezing through this and not get sidetracked. Otherwise, this break will take like twice the time. And where is this guy going to go? Probably back to the Astros, right? Once, once it becomes, uh, once it becomes like May, June, and Dallas Cockle's like, man, I, I, should, I should probably get a job. So someone will give me a big contract next year. <laughs> Uh, there are. I think. I think every every card uh, 101 and up. I think is considered a short print. So all of those are shipping, and I've been setting aside some of these variation short prints as well. So they're they're the ones that are ba that are backwards like that. So yeah, there there there's some short prints there. Yeah, that's kind of weird, right? Why is Dallas Keuchel not signed yet? I mean, at some point, Dallas, Dallas, like first name, like first name base with him. Keuchel himself probably needs to be like, all right, I'll just take an offer. I, I got to play. He has to play this season. If not, that, that just, no one's going to give him like, you know, like a six year, hundred million dollar deal or something like that. Just sitting around at home. So he's got, he's got to play somewhere. But every week that goes by, it's just like, what's the point of signing him? Because if you're a team, right? If you're the if you're the team, you're like, why bother signing him when you got to sign him and pay him and then wait for like a month for him to kind of stretch out his arm and get starter ready, you know? And then it's like June. I mean, and the teams that can afford to do that. Would they do it? I guess the Yankees could do it. You know, they've they've got. You know, if Paxson's Paxson kind of had a shaky start today, I think Luis Severino's injured, right? I and mean, who are the other guys on that rotation? 
an aging Tanaka and an aging CZ Sabathia. You know, so maybe they go, hey, we'll, we'll get Dallas Keuchel on board for a prorated one-year deal. You know, and then be like, all right, get ready ASAP. Downtown! There's the uh, one per Master Case downtown card, and it's a big one. Shohei Otani. Diane Bailey with that one. That's that's what downtown Anaheim looks like. I don't know. It's mostly Disneyland, but I guess you can't put that on there. Nice show, Otani. I, I would build a I would build a set of this. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna set that aside for picture time, along with that out of five guy. <laughs> yeah, never heard of her. Yeah, show he's she's pretty good. Yeah, she's all right. I think he. I think Shohei Otani should be back pretty soon. I think. There's the Royals' Brad Keller to ninety-nine. Brad Keller for the Royals, Nikki Probert. It's Ty Cobb frame. See that? The VGJ, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Two color dual relic. They need to work on that autograph a little bit, Vladimir, if you want to be a superstar in this league. That goes to Jim Gray, though, Jim. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. making his inevitable march to the majors. He's he got no he had an oblique issue. Right? Rehab that in single A, and then I think just went to triple A. Today? Yesterday? Something like that? And he'll rake there. And then majors? There's Rhino. There he is again. Kyle Tucker, we were just talking about him. He'll get his time soon. Yeah, Eric, we were talking about that earlier, how, how he was tossing, I think, flawless or NT cards in a box. I think we're thinking this one he didn't because there's, there's, there's stickers. So it was just some intern putting these stickers on here, but... But we'll, we'll have to see, whatever it said it is, NT or flaw, we'll have to see how those look. <laughs> Let me pop those open. These cards are a lot more sturdy than one thinks, though. So, maybe they'll, hopefully they'll be okay. It was NT, says Lou. All right, we'll have to look, keep, in, keep an eye out. Hopefully someone got it in his ear and it's like, okay, the rest of these, you can't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they had a if if they uh, if they made him redo some of them. What is going on MLB tonight right here? Wow, oh, they've lost their minds. All right, last box. We made it, folks. We made it. How are, we, how are we doing on time? All right, all right. I think I'm on schedule. Yeah, by the time I print out the labels and do all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Then we'll have Black Diamond. Then we'll have NT. And then we'll have something else. I don't know what else, but we'll have something.
All right, so we have a few or orders coming in here. So we'll see what we'll see what happens. TJ needs a bird box in here too. He needs some O's. That's a pirate. That's Kevin Kramer. Out of 99 for Michael Gallucci and his Pirates. There's Real Muto. Walker Bueller. And Shohei Otani, Diamond Deco. That's pretty nice. So there you go, Diane. You got the downtown Shoei Otani, and now you get a diamond deco Shoei Otani. That's strong. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is that. Kiki Collier at the very end. Let's do a quick randomizer for these. Front back on that. Sorry, 0 for 2 for TJ. Sorry, TJ. Let's roll the dice. 5 and a 2, 7 times. Front back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7th and final time. After 7 times, front gets him. So all the front sides, so the back sides obviously have all the all the information right there. So the front sides will get the, the heirs to the throne. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got more Diamond Kings in the store. We got time to knock out a couple more tonight. So let's get it going. We'll see you next time for the next break.